Hi, my name is Jason Condello, and I'm going to demonstrate my Deep Lens Challenge project here. Um, oftentimes when you go to a small business, you walk up to the counter, say like a small restaurant, there's nobody right there at the counter, there might be a bell, and maybe somebody's back in the kitchen or in some back room at the small business. And so what I've got here is an extension with the Deep Lens camera where we can basically put this device in any um, store, and then what it will do is it will um, alert people in the back room to how many customers there are waiting in line. So there's going to be a screen that they'll be able to um, see and they'll know the count of how many people are waiting in line. And then um, you, we could extend this further and maybe it could make a sound like it could beep once if there's one customer or do like a double beep if there's two. Um, still working on that, but, but right now we've definitely got a count on the number of uh, customers that are waiting in line. And, um, and then also uh, we're going to have a, uh, some reporting capabilities on this. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, demonstrate this real quick. To demonstrate the uh, the customer counter here, this is going to be a screen that we'll be running uh, in the back room at like the restaurant or whatever uh, store we have this installed in. And um, it, right now it says zero because there's nobody at the counter. Uh, I thought about doing this at an actual restaurant, but I realized that would have been logistically very difficult. So I'm just gonna have my two sons help me demonstrate this really quick. So um, Andrew, uh, why don't you come on into the restaurant now? Okay, so Andrew comes into the restaurant. Automatically, we know we've got this happy customer here. And Mason, why don't you come in? So as Mason comes in, gets in line at the restaurant, we can see that it uh, registers him. And then I will, uh, I will also get in here while we're at it and make sure I'm in line as well. There we go. Okay, so I'll get out of it now. And then uh, Andrew, if you could uh, go out, please. Okay, Mason, you're done in line now. If you could go out, please. Good. Okay, so as he's walking out, we can see that the final count goes back down and uh, then there's nobody in the restaurant. A little delay there. There it is. Okay, good, good, good. All right, and then uh, and then real quick, I'm gonna show you, we've got a, uh, a report here that we can have. Um, so we're gonna go to, uh, you know, we'll have like a website set up for the customer and we'll go to, uh, to this uh, website and when it loads up it's a little sample but it actually shows um, the uh, the actual uh, number of the average number of customers in line uh, per hour on the with their uh, business hour schedule so with that they can tell that um, around noon they average about four customers in line and using this information they are able to better decide um, how many employees they need there at that time. So um, this, of course, is just one view. Uh, we could do this. We could break this up in many ways and have many uh, good reports that would help them understand their business better. So uh, that's the demonstration part. Thank you. All right. So there you have it. Um, what we've done here is we, we've used um, the deep lens camera with a, a Lambda uh, model running on it, uh, running on uh, green grass. This has then um, sent a, uh, an SNS notification, and which was uh, then picked up by an IoT rule that put it in an SQS queue. And then uh, the client application is then um, picking it up and deleting it off of the SQS. And then uh, we have uh, the client application is actually um, logging it to a, uh, a SQL Server database running on RDS and um, and then we have an EC2 instance where I'm running this uh, that report you saw, which uh, is of course pulling the data from the uh, the RDS database. So that is the implementation that I have put together. I hope you liked it. Thank you.